created, please log in here. So if we go back here, so that, that's basically the end of the code here. And if we go back to the form, uh, let's go ahead and create it. Let's go ahead and uh, create the name. So I'm just going to uh, create this. The username has been created. Please log in here. And if we go back, Apple32, password, login. There you go. Login was successful. Go to your profiles page. Awesome. <laughs> so now you'll think maybe I'll show you how to write the profile.php page. But actually, um, in PHP, there's a lot of files that you tend to bypass your conscious mind when you're not the co programmer yourself. And if you remember correctly, when we just pressed login here, this is actually a page. This is actually a PHP page. Now, it only says lo one line, login successful, go to your profiles page. But this, uh, this PHP file here, check login.php, is actually a very long PHP file. Now, I'm going to show you the file. It's right here. Okay, it's not that long, but it's, it's long enough. <laughs> so, we go back here and um, make sure you type in include.cn.php. Now, this is very important now. The other, for the other HTML files, we don't need this. But for this one, we do. You know why? Because I said so. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So if you go to the cn.php page, or the file, it's very simple. It's just saying connect to the local host or the server address, username, user password. And we have one more line here. We have MySQL select database because we want to select the specific database we're referring to. In our case, it's t-shirt factory, which in install database.php, we created a database called t-shirt factory. So if you go back here, it's t-shirt factory. And that's why this file is, is, is like what you see. So that's what's going on in cn.php up here in the check login.php file. And, uh, and the next important line, this line is very, very important for this particular file. Session start brackets. This is the most important line in this whole check login.php file. If you, if you forget this, the rest of the the files that show up or the rest of the pages that show up once you've logged in will be broken so this is the most important line session underscore start parentheses so once again so i'm going to get that get to that later down below uh, i'm not going to use it right away but you have to include it at the very top it has to go at the top or it, it might screw up some things in the middle um, so do that, and then I'll, I'll get to that in, in about 30 seconds. So once again, I'm going to retrieve some information from the previous form. So user username, and then the user username from the previous uh, login form on the, on the login page. Do the same thing for the password. <clears throat> protect against MySQL injection or protect, protect against hackers. Protect against unwanted hackers. Because I, I, I don't think hackers are a very bad thing. I love Julian Assange. Go WikiLeaks, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to define the SQL um, uh, query. Another SQL recipe once more. Select everything from the table user where. So this is important. Now this time I'm going to use where because I want to define one specific row inside the, inside the table instead of grabbing everything. So where username is equal to user username and user password is equal to user user password. So once again, run that uh, SQL instruction. And, and uh, now this time you want to check if the user, if, if any users was found in the previous SQL query. So this time when you type in MySQL number of rows, it's going to count how many number of rows that's that was uh, returned from the previous entry and if a user was found it will be one if a user was not found it will be zero so I'm going to define that as number of users found so if number of users found is equal to one echo login successful go to your profiles page and then this is the most important part 
we're going to create a session variable. So how you do that is uh, dollar sign underscore session and then brackets and then logged in user. We're just defining this as logged in user. This can be anything. This can be uh, the green elephant if you want. The green elephant. Uh, all you want to do is make sure if you're going to use green elephant here, you may you, you have to use green elephant on the following pages as well. So uh, just make sure you do that. You can use it whatever you want. I personally chose to use the the really lame user, uh, the really lame um, label logged in user, but you can certainly be more creative than me. And uh, once we create, once we've defined that, now this session variable is going basically going to store this information on the PHP server for about 24 hours or you can specify how long exactly you want it to store it to. 24 hours is what hosting companies usually have by have on by default. You probably wouldn't want to leave it on there but I'm not going to make this tutorial too complicated. We're just going to say uh, just define this and let it time out whenever or when, when we later create the logout, uh, logout page manually destroy the session. So that's what we're creating here. This is basically going to indicate who the logged in user is and whose profile information to uh, display. And if the number of users found was not equal to one, then we say uh, no username was found and then it was the wrong username or password returned to the login page. Simple as that. Now we're here, we're going to go check out the profiles page, which is going to have some really basic information. Now I could have gotten really more complicated and a lot more elaborate, made a really good, uh, good poetic description of a pro profiles page and make it more interactive, but my creative abilities have a limit. So I'm just going to go with the really, really lame and boring profiles page that I've created here in Times New Roman font. And uh, it's basically going to say some fun, well, welcome Apple32 and some fun facts about you. You are from Canada, 22 years old, and you joined this website on January 8th, 2011. I have some interesting things to show you about this page. So if we go to profile.php, once again we have to include that cn.php at the very top. Very important, if you don't have this, your file will not work. For example, if I uh, if I delete this this line and refresh this, it's not going to work because uh, you, you can't you can't find anything. You can't connect, so you, you need that. And I'm going to basically uh, refresh that with that install. And if I say if I don't include session start here, guess what's going to happen? Nothing's going to show. Well, all the all the specific information about me is not going to show. Um, my name is not going to show, my country is not going to show, my age is not going to show, and the date is going to show, but it's going to be December 31st, 1969, which is the default date that the Linux time counts from, so you don't want that either. So session start is a very, very important piece of code right there. Do not forget to insert that. You have to insert that right there. Absolutely important. So there you go. You have all the information there. We're safe. We're good to go. So once we once again, uh, and, okay, and at the same time we don't want to type in session logged in user every single time for the rest of the page. So I'm just going to define it as user username and use this variable down below. So it's a little bit easier to to go through. Uh, it makes the code cleaner to read and a little bit easier to follow later on when you're reviewing or editing or debugging your code.